Codename Saber to Codename Leggett. We've been waiting for your all clear. Everything all right? Things are going surprisingly well. Glad to hear it. You're part of the team and we worry. Master Koth has another mission for you. He wants you heading to the Hoth system as soon as possible. Contact him once you arrive. Saber out. Cypher, join us. Vector and I were just discussing Moff Let Shara. We never met her, of course. Quite fortunate that. But Vector did know her husband, a, a fine Dejaric player and a scribe of the Ilfmar Gambit. We apparently share the Doctor's taste in theatre. By all means, continue. I wouldn't want to take your time, but Master Vector, we should talk again. Of course, Doctor. Your crew members are delightful people. For instance, did you know Mistress Kaleo is fluent in Kalish profanities? A rare and admirable skill. I wonder how you manage them. Leadership is such a delicate thing. My team knows what they're doing. A fine philosophy until one stabs you in the back. Still, it's good you value their camaraderie. A dead or alienated colleague is... A resource lost, and in our business, it's a small step from being disliked to being blacklisted. I appreciate the benefit of your experience. And I appreciate your company. But I'm afraid I have to attend to my data analysis program. Another time, Cypher. We've been dreaming lately. Great spitcrete vessels weeped you above the castle lands. Their engines scorched the air. Dartship swarms shade the sky, humming a song of farewell. We remember the great migration. When the lost nests departed Alderaan. You said no one knew what happened after the other Killix left. We still don't. But our travels have caused a buried memory to surface. In our dream, there is a mosaic that mirrors the stars and shows us the lost one's destination. We request leave for a pilgrimage agent to follow the first steps of the migrant Kilix. You think the lost nests are still out there? It's been millennia since the migration and we doubt we'll see more than dust or petrified shells. Still, the journey honors our kin. We're already packed. I'll be here when you're done. Take care of yourself. And you. So, you made it back from your pilgrimage. Our journey is over. We saw strange worlds and markers set in stone and frozen lakes of steaming colors, but no Kilix. The colony found planets that suited them, but none that could support them. They divided into a thousand nests, each going its own way, to a hundred different stars. The Kilix left Alderaan and dispersed. Maybe some of the nests survived, but... But they remain lost to us. It's all right, Agent. We're grateful for what we've learned. In any event, we're sorry. What? There is a scent here. You're not giving up already. We apologize for surprising you, but it took time for us to become aware of your presence. More to find you. But we welcome you nonetheless. We are Dizana, of the Lassi Nest. Dizana. I represent the Sith Empire, along with Vector Hillers. Yes, but are you Vector? Dizana of Lese. We are Dawn Herald of Ouroboro. Ouroboro? We barely recognize the scent. We thought we'd lost the nests of Alderaan until you followed. Our fleet ship pursued you here. The colony still exists, spun across the stars. Our nests still kin. 
A trillion and more Killicks will dance and sing tonight. Your ship followed Vector on his way back from the pilgrimage. Even after he was gone, he left an impression we could follow. Our emissaries are not far from your own. Let them touch, and bring knowledge. Yes, the Lace shall rejoice. She offers dancing and Membrosia the chance to walk the tunnels of the Synapse Comb. The Dawn Herald must come with us. As his partner, you may accompany and share in our joy. I'd, I'd love to see a Killig celebration lead the way. Don't worry. We'll be out before the pheromones bond to your system. The Membrosia runs in golden rivers. You're doing well. Accompany the joiners, if you wish. Morning comes soon. We're impressed. You held up well. More to the point, you brought together the fragments of an ancient people. We can't fully express our gratitude. We hear the singing of a thousand nests and are at peace. I'm glad you're in high spirits. Call it a day then. Agreed, Agent. wanted to talk. Hey, you're looking nice. Can we do this a little later? I, I've got something going on. Let me know when you're free. Khalil, why don't we go back to my place? It's a lot warmer than... Oh. Get out of here, Devin. It's Dibbon. Out. No need to hurry out. It's good to meet you, Dibbon. You too. Look, she said it was her ship. I don't want to cause problems, so I'll just go. Sorry, he's just a guy. I think he's a dog worker or something. I found him the other night. We had a few drinks and I brought him here. Not a big deal, okay? You can do what you want to do, Kalia. I will. I like running with you, but I don't owe you anything. I never said you owed me. I don't think I suggested it. So what then? You're just gonna stand there? This is stupid, Agent. I'm gonna have a shower. Codename Legate to Base Command. Come in, Base Command. Base Command receiving, Legate. Don't be surprised if I cut out. The whole Hoth system is murder on the comms. And not so good for people, either. I'll keep the signal clear. What's my mission? Hoth's a frozen rock. Not worth much on its own. But years back, it saw one of the war's biggest battles. Hundreds of ships got dragged into the atmosphere. Made a sort of a starship graveyard for the best girls in the fleet. You're going to bring one home. I hijacked a transport once. Never made off with a whole ship. I heard rumors. Tell me the story someday. It's a war zone down there. Republic salvage operations, Imperial saboteurs, and the White Maw. 
few thousand pirates who want the scrap for themselves. Plus, the Starbreeze is a moot type shuttle, slip of a thing, have an able locator in the wreckage. Our only lead is inside the Imperial Army. That explains why you needed a defector. We have reports that Lyak Davos, an Imperial Admiral who fought in the Battle of Hoth, is assembling an expedition to the Starship Graveyard. He's after a long list of salvage, the Starbreeze included. Join Admiral Davos and get that shuttle to us instead. Do you plan to explain what you need this shuttle for? When it's all over, I promise. Codename Hunter will contact you from the field. He's en route to Hoth now. In the meantime, talk to Admiral Davos' search and recovery men at the Imperial base. With any luck, they'll show us the way. Satellite's dead. What do your people know about Grid Alpha 9? Pirate territory. Heavily fortified. Can you get me numbers? Perhaps, but our manpower is limited. Manpower? Excuse me. Captain Leo Firth, search and recovery. Saw your docking authorization. You must be our visitor from intelligence. Cypher 9. I'm on unattached wartime duty here to see Admiral Davos. Sergeant, you're dismissed. Chiss Ascendancy has been operating on Hoth for years. Useful, but let's not kid ourselves. So, what's your business with the Admiral? I understand he's leading a team to the Starship Graveyard. I intend to join him. And you're out of luck. He left base with his expedition 36 hours ago. Long-range comms are almost useless in this weather. You want to wait? He'll be back in a few weeks. If this were an emergency, how would you reach him? Look, there might still be a crew at the expedition launch site. It's where the Admiral's supply line to the Starship Graveyard starts. But trying to reach the launch point now is suicide. Weather's bad, and there are Republic commandos in the area. I expect your cooperation, Captain. Maps, supplies, anything you can provide. Yes, sir. Sergeant Thent. Captain. Equip our visitor for travel. He'll need all the help he can get. Packed and ready, Admiral. Unless you're worried about the Captain's flare. No. We cannot wait. Intruder alert. They are a bit on edge, don't you think? Officer, I am Admiral Davos, commander of this expedition. You were not expected. I have full authorization to be here. Is there a problem? You must excuse our caution. Hoff is not a world that forgives mistakes. A lesson that scarred me long ago. Weapons down, everyone. We are in the midst of a delicate operation. These men are preparing to follow me to the Starship Graveyard. The Minister of Intelligence says I'm to assist your men and ensure the interests of the Empire. I see. Months ago, I could have accommodated this. Now, I'm afraid we approach the crisis point, and I cannot afford additional risk. Commander, torture him and find out what he knows, then kill him. Your 
are still alive. <laughs> Don't bother returning to base. Captain Firth is gone and Admiral Davos bribed most of the others. You were with Search and Recovery? Correct. There is a location beyond the frozen lake. You'll find answers. Coordinates sent. I'm on my way. As secret bases go, this isn't bad at all. Sir, sorry for not contacting you sooner. No one thought Admiral Davos's men would actually start shooting. Ensign Rena Temple, Chiss Expansionary Defense Force, welcome to Zero Station. Warmth on Hoth at last. A pleasure to meet you, Ensign. I know you're just saying that because I'm practically frostbitten. Come on, I'll show you around. This is a top secret Chiss Ascendancy installation. Self-sufficient, running in parallel with the above-ground outposts. Paranoia at work. But our paranoia paid off. And this is our base commander, Aristocra Saganu. Ensign Temple speaks highly of Imperial Intelligence. She convinced me the Admiral Davos situation warranted bringing you in. He ordered his men to torture me. I'd like to know why. My agents have been watching Admiral Davos for months. We became suspicious when he brought in his own crew, officers loyal to him and covered it with bribes. Lately, he brought heavy equipment and guns, built an army for his expedition to the Starship Graveyard. You threatened his control. A career admiral doesn't commit treason out of the blue. He must be after the Graveyard's salvage, prototype technology, military databanks. It could make him unimaginably wealthy. I won't proceed without Imperial sanction. Grant it, and we can stop Admiral Davos and his plans together. I'm in. What's our next move? The White Moor pirates control the wastelands between here and the Starship Graveyard. The Admiral's been sending his people out there for weeks. My scouting party caught them burying some sort of supply caches. We don't know what the Admiral's caches are for, but if you could get us reconnaissance scans, they might give us a lead on the man himself. First we learn what he's up to, then we close in. These are the drop point locations. Contact me when you get the scans and we'll find our man. Chis Honor. This is Enzon Temple. Looks like that cache is full of stolen Imperial equipment. Given how the pirates are guarding it, I'm guessing it's a gift from Admiral Davos to the White Moor. Don't tell me you called just to talk about pirates. The Defense Force is surprisingly strict about using their secure channels for personal calls. I advise continuing the recon. A little luck and we'll pin down which White Moor faction the Admiral's dealing with. If you can tag the caches for tracking, that wouldn't hurt either. Temple out. Tracking signal coming in.
This is Hunter to Leggett. Hope you weren't getting lonely. I'm on planet, but signals don't carry here. Arden Koth authorized me to take your reins. Have you found the Star Breeze yet? I haven't seen you since Nashadar. How's the rest of the team? You didn't answer my question. Now I'm gonna have to force you. Keyword onomatophobia. Command, deliver your mission report. I am attempting to locate Admiral Davos, who will lead us to the Star Breeze. Good. Obedience comes easier when you don't have a choice. Contact me as soon as you find the shuttle. Hunter, out. Smart. Arrogant. Cautious. Don't underestimate him. Temple here. Like we thought, those caches are a gift from Admiral Davos to the Pirate Coalition. Specifically, he's paying off a group called the Marauders. Raiders and hijackers, influential with the other pirate gangs. But what's the reason? The Marauders have a camp nearby. Guard looks light at the moment. We're going to take a team in. Meet us there and we'll dig up some answers. Temple out. Hardly a scratch. Agent! There were too many of them! Half our team is pinned down. Masa Kipuna. Blast you! Stop! Look at me and stop! That's right. Keep looking here. I'll keep talking, and you keep looking. Sir, if you're going to do anything, do it now! Right, Ensign. I'm fine. Check on the others. Sir? I suppose you want an explanation. What are you, Ensign? Jedi? Sith? What I did back there... It was a force trick, sir. I'm just powerful enough to get into trouble. No lightning, no seeing the future, I never trained. If the Sith knew, they'd have me killed. That's why I left Imperial service for the Chiss Ascendancy. For now, we have a job to do. 
We can deal with the rest another time. Yes, sir. Getting a call from Zero Station. They finished analyzing the pirate data. Agent, Ensign Temple, your raid was successful. It seems Admiral Davos has been trying to arrange safe passage through pirate territory to the Starship Graveyard. The pirates have agreed to meet, today. Get me the details and I'll be there. The meet is in the primary marauder base, heavily fortified. Attack head on and the attendees slip away. However, a cave system runs under the base, moves softer than a shadow, and you could tap the cave wall. You're sending him to the bone pits? The caves are inhabited by animal life and resemble a slaughterhouse. But it's the perfect place from which to observe the meeting. I'll need maps and equipment. Once you're in place, you can use a laser drill and micro cord camera to tap the wall. My team will be in touch from Zero Station. Good luck to you. We need to move out, but be careful in the monster's den.